Good morning darlings, welcome to a new vlog. This morning I woke up quite inspired by some petals that had landed all over our kitchen worktop. So um, the peonies and rose bunch that Charlie got uh, from Waitrose last week, a lot of the peonies sadly lost their petals last night. But it gave me an idea, I, I hate throwing away flowers. In fact, I think in Clapham, Charlie used to secretly throw them away when they were getting towards the end without telling me because I would always want to cling on to them until they were literally molding in the vase because it just pains me to throw away something, away, throw away something so beautiful. So what I thought I would do is collect up the petals that had fallen um, and these are 90% peony petals. Some of the peonies are still going strong so I've given them a snip and I've popped them back in the vase. So I had a little look online and apparently you can either pop them in an airing cupboard on um, a tea towel for three days, we don't have an airing cupboard so sadly can't do that, or you can pop them on a wire rack in an oven at 100 degrees for an hour and a half. So I thought I would try that this morning and let you know if it works because if it does, um, I'm annoyed that I didn't think to do this earlier because we had so many beautiful bouquets of flowers sent to us as like housewarming presents um, to celebrate the new house and we threw away so many petals we put them in the garden compost um, but I think if this works that's what I'm going to do from now on and then when we get married we'll have homemade petal confetti so yeah I'm going to pop these petals on the baking tray and see if it works These remind me of Thumbelina. Did anyone else read that when they were younger? She used to float around in a petal. How beautiful are these? It's just amazing that nature creates something so lovely. So I've um, spread them all out on a wire rack. I just had a thought. You probably wouldn't be able to do this if you had a fan assisted oven because it would just blow the petals all over the place. Um, but luckily we have an Arga, so I'm going to pop these in at the bottom left because the different doors have different temperatures and I believe um, top right is 215, um, underneath that is 150 and then the bottom left is 115. So everywhere that I looked online said 100 degrees but I don't have a 100 degree oven so I'm going to pop it in the 115 um, and hope for the best. Another of my peonies has just started to... Oh, They just fall out so easily. Looks like I'll be doing lots of batches today. I couldn't fit all of them on one rack, so if this works, I am going to use the same method over and over again until I have a whole collection of rose and peony petal confetti. Now, You're so polite, Good Dickie. boy, very good chap. Da -da. Very, very good chap. Is that why there's marks on his glass, is it? Yes. It's from my snout. My snouty. Oh, I just wanted to survey my kingdom. Just wanted a bit of fresh air, actually. <laughs> Silly. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. No, just burn. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean, like, that's what would have happened. I knew that would happen. <laughs> utter nonsense. We try again. No, you're not trying again. It's just going to keep happening. You make a raw mess. And try one more time. Darling, no. It's just going to keep happening. And look at the mess you're making. Please. It's all there's over literally no mess. It's all over there and then it's just gone on the floor. Come on, darling, don't. It's a waste of time. No, it's not. Well, it is, right. clearly. You just wasted half an hour filming it and doing not. that and you've achieved nothing. Please, don't be silly. I think to dry them out, you need to literally leave them in a dry area and let them dry out. You don't cook them. Right. Well, clearly this was an epic fail. 
Um, I don't know if maybe the leaves were too moist or if perhaps the agar is too hot. But yeah, that was an absolute epic fail. So just Take two. Let's see if this oven is any better. No! Nope. <laughs> Why is this not working? Because it's nonsense. No! Oh, I'm so <laughs> sad. Let's even laugh then. Why? I'm so sad. Oh, mummy, it's so silly. Epic fail. Do you listen to me? No. <laughs> Oh, I reckon if you honestly, I reckon the best thing would be to leave them in like an airing cupboard or a bit of larder and, and leave them flat like that and leave them for like a week and see what happens. I also think you're going wrong with the peonies. I reckon rose petals would be better. Is that all peony? Yeah. Well, they're quite wet. Whereas rose, I think rose petals would be I'm really upset. What a plonker! What did mummy do wrong, chicky lean lean? Well, mummy, if you'd have asked me for my advice, I'd have said to dry out the petals first. Would you, Dexie? I wouldn't have had the foggiest, mummy. I'd have done what you did. You are my special boys. Epic fail. Goodness me. Who'd have thought making some dried flower confetti would be so challenging i'm so annoyed i'm gonna try a few different methods but if any of you guys have any tips let me know um so i'm now just at my laptop getting some work done it is a work day and things i'm pleased to report are starting to pick up a little bit i've just confirmed a collaboration with ted baker so i'm on their website right now choosing a few bits and bobs to shoot a gorgeous IGTV with them. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a day in the countryside wearing Ted Baker and show various different things that I do in my Ted dresses. So I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes shooting that as and when we do it. The boys have done absolutely nothing today. Sweet FA. Sweet FA. And yet they're exhausted. Why, Chiggy? But this one is so cuddly. And he's helping me get on with some work. Oh, I love you so much. We have just received um, our post for the day and there are some clothing items here that I want to show you. The company um, that very kindly sent me this dress have sent me two new dresses which I want to show you. They're both long sleeve and I think they'll be so pretty. It's actually really chilly today um, but when we've been in the kitchen and family room it's fine because the arc is in there and it keeps those warm. warm those rooms nice and toasty um, but it's quite nippy in here so I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a try on or not but I'm going to pop you on the mantelpiece and show you the dresses so first of all this lovely one here it is almost like um I can never remember the name of this fabric like a chin chinoiserie print that kind of old school French almost it's like a floral garden print in the faded pink fabric. I think that's gonna look so lovely. And then also with the same silhouette, this one, and it's just got the most beautiful tiers of fabric going down here, lovely ruffles, little um, low v-neck, and a slight elastication on the sleeves. It's quite a fine chiffon, chiffon style material. So I think these are gonna look so lovely when the temperatures warm up again, which hopefully they're going to do this weekend. Now I placed an order last night on River Island because I saw the most spectacular Zimmerman dupes that I think I have ever seen. If you guys are following me on Insta stories, you'll have seen me going a little bit crazy over them. And they arrived on next day delivery, so I'm very chuffed about that. Firstly, this little blouse. Um, on the website, 
the model wearing this is wearing it with matching shorts and the matching shorts are not on the website yet which is so annoying um but if they are by the time this video goes up I will leave them linked down below because it is such a good dupe and this is just the most gorgeous style I have ever seen. For now, I'll probably style them with my Topshop shorts um, because I just can't wait to wear this. But probably the best Zimmerman dupe that I saw on their website. First of all, I'm going to put a picture of me wearing the actual Zimmerman dress. I had this on loan from Netta Porter last summer and I wore it to, um, I think it's called Esvedra in Ibiza and it was one of the most favourite outfits I think I've ever worn and River Island have the most almost identical dupe which I would highly recommend that you buy. I think it's £65.99 whereas the Zimmerman one I think is around £600 so literally a tenth of the price. I mean it could not be any more similar without it being illegal quite frankly. It's so gorgeous. You've got the trim on the sleeves. You've got that piping um, circular trim on the top here. Beautiful, almost cross-stitch effect um, embroidery. The only real difference that I can see is that the Zimmerman one has a little bit of um, this kind of detail, this kind of detail in the around the waist and the fabric quality is considerably better, but for 65.99 or 65 pounds, I think this is just incredible. In fact, I do think um, that I cannot wait and I do want to try that on, but let me show you the other two things that I also ordered. Anything with a little bit of um, a pretty trim and I loved the floral trim on this little play suit. This is the kind of thing that when I'm just lounging around at home, relaxing in my garden, maybe doing a bit of, um, bit of gardening or I've got some friends over back when that's allowed to happen again. It's got the Zimmerman-esque trim down at the bottom as well. Such a simple detail, but I really think this kind of trim makes something look so much better. And yeah, it's just a really sweet little play suit. 28 pounds, so pretty affordable as well. And you're not gonna get bad tan lines. So if it is a really warm summer's day, then that is just perfection. And then finally, whether it's for upcoming holidays, I don't think any of us are going to be having any summer holidays this year, but you know, again, days in the garden when it's really warm and you want to pop a bikini on, but maybe you just want to put some shorts on for lunch or something. I thought these were adorable and I've been getting a lot of wear, well, when it was really warm the past few days, I was getting a lot of wear out of little shorts and I just thought these were really sweet. They've got an elasticated top really pretty floral material and then you've got some embellishment down at the bottom. I wish it didn't have the neon orange sequins. I do think that ruins it slightly but I'm willing to look past that because I think these are just going to be the cutest little shorts. I'm going to try on the blouse with some white shorts now and show you what that looks like. So I thought I might as well try the little play suit on as well. Um, so this is it. Gosh, I have so much space <laughs> to show you things. It really is very sweet. You could probably go braless with this, really nice open back, so great for catching the sun. You can obviously adjust the straps to as long or as short as you want. Um, and it's got a nice amount of stretch to it, so you don't feel like you have to be a certain proportion <laughs> to fit in this. But I do really, really like this trim down at the bottom. Can you see? Maybe easier if I show you in the mirror. Um, oh goodness, maybe not because the lighting is so bright. Kind of see um, the effect of the trim down at the bottom. And it's almost like voluminous on the boob area. And then you've got smocking in the middle. Oh my goodness, I have just noticed. Oh, they're like faux pockets basically here. There's, I don't know if you can see, another row of the daisies. It looks like it's for a pocket, but actually it's not. So yeah, very cute. I actually really like the silhouette of this. I think that is so pretty and just so easy to throw on on a lovely summer's day. The blouse is just perfection. It is the most incredible Zimmerman dupe. I literally feel like I'm wearing a Zimmerman um, top right now. It, oh gosh, the lighting in here is crazy. So you've got the most lovely detail where it's like open ladder lattice detail down the sides. You've got the ruffles on the shoulders, which again have the gorgeous um, circular 
trim on them and then you've got that same circular trim down at the bottom smocked around the waist so if you had a pair of shorts that were the right color obviously my shorts right now are cream and the top is white but it does give the overall effect if you're wanting to ask me about the shorts they're from Topshop but a couple of years ago so I'm really sorry they are not available anymore but I'll try and find something similar and leave them linked down below because I bloody love these shorts so much and the gorgeous little shoes that I am wearing all the time around the house Oop. <laughs> they are from Pretty Ballerina back to the top I just absolutely adore it um, beautiful material beautiful pattern and again you've got that gorgeous floral embroidery detail oh my goodness this is just divine I mean shape wise it's obviously not as spectacular as the Zimmerman, but how could you not just fall in love with this at that price? It is so gorgeous. Summer garden parties, christenings, picnics, date days, when we are allowed to enjoy the beautiful outside again. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the one tiny complaint that I have is that you do need assistance when it comes to doing it up because it is those little buttons um, which is a bit of a pain because yeah you really <laughs> would struggle to do that by yourself fairly voluminous with the ruffle on the sleeves just so gorgeous I love 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 the trim along the neckline you've got an elasticated waist as well so if you are overindulging for barbecues <laughs> then you're not going to be uncomfortable um, I'm just wearing it barefooted but with my castagna wedges this would be absolutely gorgeous I love the embroidery it's almost like a three-dimensional embroidery it's so pretty and you can see the detail on the lace oh my goodness i'm just overwhelmed and so so happy that these were released so yes well done river island you've nailed it i can't wait to see what else you've got in your um in your pocket to show us this summer and as i said darlings um I'll leave the shorts and other bits from this collection that I love linked down below. And also, what I will also do is leave down below um, a few things that I ordered from H&M yesterday as well. I shared one of the floral dresses um, that I'll pop up here on my Instagram stories and I think something like 100 plus of you ordered it from just an Instagram story so you obviously love it as much as I do so I'll pop um, a few pictures on the screen now while we're talking of things that I did put in my H&M order yesterday. Annoyingly it said the postage would be between 7 to 10 days which is super duper annoying um, and I know that they will have sold out by then so yeah hopefully you like seeing what I've ordered recently and I'll leave them all linked in the description box down below. I've just had another fashion delivery. Um, this is from And Other Stories. So, Dicky, do you want to go outside for a tinkle? He's just seen his own reflection in the glass. He's gonna bark at himself. Ooh. Oh, little noises. Did you want to go outside? Come on, Luna. Look at this. Oh, giant brother. Come on now. You want it? Where was I? Yes. Um, and other stories has just been delivered, so let's have a little look inside. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Cute! Oh, this is so adorable. I just love hats at the moment. Um, and this has got a really cute little uh, silk scarf kind of wrapped around it, which obviously you can switch around. I also, when this, when, blah, blah, this morning when I was choosing my stuff from Ted Baker, um, I did request a little silk scarf, which is like pinky florals, so that could be a really nice switch around. Um, but, oh, it's quite big. <laughs> ginormous um this could be really nice for when i'm literally gardening and i don't want to have the sun going in my face because i don't want to get wrinkles um but yeah it's quite cute it is too big annoyingly i wonder if they come in different sizes um i think this is a medium so i might see if they've got a small because i think size small is like 52 centimeters around your head and i think this one might be 57 and my head is 52 Anyway, 
Um, that is very cute indeed. Ooh la la. Say ooh la la. Say ooh. Come on, come on. I actually don't know way, which way round this goes. Um, possibly this way around. But this is such a gorgeous kind of muted, um, like a watercolour. And then it is a dress. Things like this I just find so lovely as you can tell from today I just like to wear dresses around the house because that's the only place I go at the moment but imagine like when everything opens up around here exploring the countryside, local cafes, local I was about to say bars but I don't think there's many bars in the Cotswolds, Dalesford, Soho Farmhouse, all these places I can frequent in my gorgeous dresses and maybe even some chunky boots on underneath. I love the end of the stories is so much more girly now. I think it used to be like so scandy and cool, but now they have florals, they have pink things, they have frills and luminous sleeves. So I'm very much liking their change of direction. Case in point, oh my God, this is stunning. Stunning. I would literally say this is bridesmaid dress worthy. That is gorgeous. So it's like a bandeau and you've got that sticky, um, you know, when it's like sticky at the top to stop it from sliding down um bandeau style dress with this cardigan would be so cute oh this material this needs a good steam because it's a little bit creased but look at that gorgeous material oh my gosh i actually can't wait to steam this that is so lovely it's again like a floral pink watercolor um stunning i do wish it had the option of sleeves like the option of spaghetti straps but I can always add those in. Let me know if you'd like to see a kind of home sewing video or like home sewing within a vlog because I have got quite a lot on my to alter pile. And then finally we have two pairs of shoesies. So these um, I have in a very similar but darker colour and I love them so much. I think they are so practical. They go with so many things like the outfit that I'm wearing now. Super cute. So they are just these plain mules with a little chunky block heel. Really, really, really versatile. Um, and I love my other coloured ones, but I thought the cream would go so nicely with slightly lighter toned outfits in my wardrobe. And then I couldn't resist these. I always see pictures of people wearing shoes like this and I think they look so chic. Um, and I do like to have quite a lot of straps on my shoes because it just makes me feel like my foot is more in situ in a sturdy um, strapped in shoe so yeah I thought those would be really really elegant lovely open summer shoes and again a really nice heel height a good chunky block heel um, as you can see I've just got kind of redressed after my try on so I cannot be bothered to try this stuff on now um, but I'm, I am still thinking of doing a what's new in my wardrobe video maybe I'll wait until the Ted Baker stuff arrives um, because then I'll have more to show you so yeah stay tuned in the next couple of days I'll probably be a what's new in my wardrobe video and I will try a lot of this stuff on um, I was actually for total dis closure, disparency, transparency. I was sent this because I am collaborating with and other stories for a sponsored Instagram. Um, so this was all very kindly sent to me. And obviously the Anne Louise stuff was sent to me, um, but the River Island stuff I paid for. <laughs> Just as an FYI. Oh, my phone's dinging. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's from 3Mobile and my bill is ready to view. This is a little bit scary considering I've been using personal hotspot to upload a new YouTube video every night since we moved in. £24.22. What? Say what? Total charges. Your bill period up to the 4th of May, £24.22. How does that make sense when I've literally been blitzing my data like there is no tomorrow? This cannot be right. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Hungry. 
welcome to my office aka the kitchen table so i have a few new um fabric samples that arrived actually i think i might have shown you these before i can't remember um but these were the ones that we chose um from sofa.com for potentially our family room sofa and footstool they have 15 percent off at the moment um so this is the one that we've gone for <laughs> i did use it as a coaster earlier and it is royal fern we are i think 90% sure going for the teddy sofa and their Humphrey footstool which I think will look so gorgeous in there. Um, other close contenders were this one which is called Chatrus. Uh, I didn't actually like this one, this was sage. Um, I think it would have gone really nicely if the chair was to go in the kitchen because it goes really nicely with the kitchen colours but I wanted something a bit more green um, in the living room. This is called Cashmere. I think it's a little bit similar to what we've got now um, and then I also got Brancaster just a little bit too grey I did also really like Valley it's got quite a nice texture to it um, but in the end we went for Royal Fern and I think with some nice floral cushions that will look really really nice also some fabric arrived from John Lewis for my other projects so I ordered this quite busy one this is called Hedgerow Linen Maybe for some cushions, maybe for some outside furniture, maybe, yeah, I think probably outside furniture. And then also some pink samples, again, potentials for the French antique bed that I'm going to be reupholstering. So that's quite a plain pink velvet if I went down that route. This one I really like, it's got a bit more texture to it. It's called Hope, um, and yeah, I really like the texture in that one. Also love the texture in this one, this is called Maria Texture. That's really nice. Um, and this one is a little bit more plain. This could be what our armchair's covered in, actually. This is called Topaz. I'm gonna check that. Pretty darn close. I think that is what's on our armchair. So I've got those from John Lewis. Um, and then this one, which annoyingly, I just think the sample is too small to really see what it's all about because, yeah, it just looks like a bit of abstract watercolour. Charlie and I also just went around the house and I've made a list of things that I need to buy. So really boring things like master bedroom toilet roll holder, guest bedroom gold toilet roll holder, gold towel holder, black bathroom silver toilet roll holder and a bolt for the door. <laughs> we call it the Lizzo bathroom which is the bathroom off the um, room that's going to be the pink room, silver toilet roll holder, two fancy armchairs for upstairs and a matching footstool, tiny upstairs bathroom, black toilet roll holder, black hook for the towel and tiny mirror. Um, also need to order some bedroom bins, a rail for the little cloakroom cupboard and an antique gold frame for the dog portrait. So that's what I'm going to do on my laptop now. Are you panting at me little bunny rabbits? What do you want? You want to play. So I'm just going to have a little browse online now um, to hopefully pick up some of those pieces. They were sold out of normal Jaffa cakes in Waitrose, so I got these balsam biscuits. If you live in Europe, Pims, I think the brand is Took or Two Took, um, but Pims are the best. They are so much better than Jaffa cakes, especially if you keep them in the fridge. By the way, I just want to say thank you for all the love on my recent Instagram images. I was kind of worried that they would be too green and gardeny and countryside-y because it's not my normal vibe. Um, but I posted this one earlier today and your comments have just been so, so kind. So thank you very much if you follow me on Instagram and you've been leaving me lovely comments. I really liked this photo as well. This is one that we just took in the garden had a little picnic. You guys saw actually the behind the scenes of that shoot, but I love how that came out. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be. It's Josie LDN. I just got a text from Domino's. I have got a feeling you don't deliver out here, I'm afraid. Ooh, I love a pizza. I need to go and sit in the family room because my 3G is not working so well in here. <gasps> Who did a tinkle in here? Who 
did that? That's wet. Yeah. not looking so glam anymore I've just had to put oh god I've got pain on my sleeve just had to put um, this mega puffy jacket on because it is freezing outside and uh, Charlie asked me to go and do some watering of the herb garden and the potted plants and the hydrangea island and it takes quite a long time to water this garden because it is massive um, the reason I now have paint on my sleeve is because your pardon can you see we're talking the reason, I, the reason I have paint on my sleeve is because Charlie dropped a can of paint on the grass luckily on the grass I would have been very angry if he have dropped it on the pavement but luckily he only dropped it on the grass but still it looks like a massive bird turd <laughs> on the grass it's huge um, and I wanted to I wanted to try and scrape some of the excess paint um, into an old plant pot because, I mean, let me show you how massive this explosion is. Don't know if you can see there, a big explosion of paint. Um, so I've just been scraping that up and then we just went down the garden. The sun is actually coming out now. Beautiful. Um, Charlie has also been to the veg market again. I haven't Let's see what he's got. Ooh, aubergines. Oh, he's got me some oats. Fantastic. Some farm eggs, uh, limons, bananas. Oh, and it looks like he's been to Dalesford again. This boy is just addicted to shopping. Ooh, I'm not going to complain though. This looks good. Is that cheese I see down there? Meanwhile, I'm going to show you what I have been working on this afternoon because I'm actually quite proud of this. So, the website that I use for a lot of my graphics, including on my YouTube videos and my thumbnails, is called PicMonkey. I, I sign up to the premium version. Um, and I decided to do a little collage here for our snug room. I'll pop it on the screen so you can see it more clearly, but I basically wanted to combine some images that I'd saved on Pinterest with um, bits of furniture that I'd found that I really like the look of. A lot of this furniture, like this, the brass and glass side table, um, and this picture is all Soho House, and a lot of these things are sold out. So I'm trying to find something like this little footstool with the tassels, and this brass with the glass top side table. I'm trying to find things like that. And oh, I was trying to zoom in, my laptop is not touch screen. Um, yeah, this tiny little table lamp would be so perfect for that tiny bedroom upstairs that I showed you um, a couple of vlogs ago where I was measuring for a sofa from that website, Snug. So this is the vibe we're going for in there. I want it to be really cozy, like quite dark, rich colors. Um, so yeah, I found it really fun to make these kind of vision boards on Pick Monkey. So now, while our pizzas are in the oven, I'm gonna do the same, but for the drawing room.